Welcome back to some more beautiful game. Yes. <laughs> Supermarket Simulator. Anyway, let's play. Guys, I'm such a huge fan of this uh, this mod that we're using here. It's called Employee Trainer. S yeah, something like that. It's it's phenomenal. It's on Nexus mods. Um, you just increase your trainer, your your employees. Obviously, you pay them more per day. You can also pay to advance their experience. But I think the experience thing is a little bit overpriced, to be honest, because it doesn't really help that much. So it's better to just farm the experience naturally. You can see these guys. This guy's level 28 now. His walking speed increased. The amount of boxes that he carries increases. Um, which is actually... every Everything has an individual weight. Uh, so that is pretty cool. So he's going to run around. We got two employees restocking. It's just... In my opinion, it's a great idea. And... I literally just messaged the developer. Hopefully he will see it. Um, like, this is such a good idea for a game like this. I honestly I honestly think that he's sitting on a gold mine at the moment. If enough people uh, see this mod, you can see the cashier also has it. Uh, level 29. Um, if enough people actually endorse it and... You know, he could actually make quite a bit of money if people donate and stuff like that. I think it's pretty awesome. Really, really cool mod. So the cashier, uh, his speed increases. Um, and once you get to a point where, you know, like I think it will become almost instant. I don't think he will be the, like the only guy you'll ever pay for your shop. Um, but it's just the more the more he works, the better he becomes. It's pretty much what it comes down to. Uh, the restockers we have two, and they're running around like crazy people. One is level twenty. I I literally upgraded him in the previous video, and the other one's level twenty nine, level twenty eight. Uh, it's just because I upgraded this guy and I started to fire the other ones, uh, so he has a way, like a big jump ahead. So they walk faster, they can carry more weight, and uh, obviously you'll pay them more per day for their job. So it's like, uh, at the end of the day, you, you most probably don't need all four restockers, most probably. Um, but yeah, uh, this guy started, you can, you can watch like two videos ago, this guy started at level one, and he was twice as slow as self-checkout. <laughs> but look where he is now, dude. Trying to earn Employee of the Year, both of them. Or in this case, Employee of the Day. He's more than double the speed now of the self-checkout. And I honestly think if more people use this mod... Um, hopefully in the future, games like simulator games like this... Uh, they would either employ it th themselves... Because, uh, dude, it's such a good idea, man. It's really, really cool. But yeah, uh, we're almost level 54. I would like to upgrade my store as well. Uh, get more products in here. We haven't bought a product license for so many episodes now. It's definitely something we have to do. Definitely something we have to do soon. Uh, but yeah, we have quite a few mods installed. I'm going to just mention it again. Um, we have auto lights at 6 p.m. that turns on. We have uh, obviously the training uh, employee, uh, the employee trainer um, that just exponentially becomes better over time. So yeah, the racking speed also gets faster. So items out of the box. But I tried, I tried to only play with one employee, it's still not fast enough, so... But this guy is about to reach level 29, which is great. This guy is almost level 30, so... And I, I don't think he can solo run the store, so I would like to get another cashier. The problem is, at level 1, 
he is twice as slow as self checkout. So, but the faster we get the guy, you know, to start rolling, the better. Uh, we're using another mod for every time that they get experience. Uh, well, every time they finish a, a, a cash a cashier finishes the job, it counts towards us finishing the job. Um, that's another mod we're using. So the game thinks that hey, it's me that is doing this. Uh, we also have another one, which is pretty cool. Um, every morning, it automatically sets all prices in the shop. So whether the prices go up or down, and I have to edit stuff, uh, that automates. And I think that developer also made the mod for TCG Card Simulator. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely going to use it there also. Um, it's just so that you make the most amount of money every day. And if something goes down in value, that you don't have to go look for the product. And because in this game, it's a little bit, not much, but it's a little bit easier because it shows on screen. But on TCG Card Simulator, it doesn't show on screen. You have to open a separate app and go through every product and see how much the value changed. And that just becomes problematic, in my opinion. The guy's about to reach level 29, dude. But yeah, it's... Uh, Pretty cool mods. Whoa, dude. Is someone throwing her with hand sanitizer across the room? Nice catch, girl. Holy. Holy. So you can see at night time, it's a little bit uh, clunky. Uh, dishwasher is too expensive for me. It happens, bro. People get mad. You lose some SP. He just walks out. He's like, I don't want anything to do with this. Hand sanitizer is too expensive, so I'm not going to spend any money here. I didn't think it's that bad. I, I think they would just complain. That guy is like, nah, dude. I'm going to complain and just walk out. Maybe, maybe it's one of those people that would only buy one item anyway. So I kind of wished I used this mod from the beginning of the series, but rather late than never. I was considering to restart the game because like how broken OP they would become after a while. Like I, I can't imagine how much, like how fast this guy would be at level 40, right? I don't know where the end level is, uh, but I know the end level for the... Oh, he's stuck, dude. He's trying to pick up a box on the floor. Yeah, it's when I saved uh, and closed and opened the game. They dropped the boxes on the floor. And there's another mod you can also use for that, where if there's no placement that they can do, they would drop the box inside the storage instead of putting it on the shelf. But I'm using a different mod also. I, I'm trying to use mods, but at a fair way. So there's multiple mods that does this, but if I buy a product, it will be automatically shelved. So let me show you with bread. Well, I, I can't because it's 9 p.m. But if I buy bread, you can see there's a tick box in the bottom left that says place delivery in storage. Now you can see in the top right of this box or of this green, uh, blue box, it shows there order is $23, shipping is two, and then storage is two. So I'm paying $2. I'm paying $1 per product to take it from the road. But instead of putting it on the road, it would be put on the shelf, if that makes sense. And that overall is just a, a better experience. Come on, girl. You could have helped this guy to reach level 30. How would you just look at him in the eyes and take it away from him? Eh. What's wrong with you? Honestly. I'm I'm seriously wishing that this developer or this mod creator would make this mod also for TCG. I honestly think he's 
absolutely insane for making something like this. It's it's so cool, dude. But your your employee is way weaker in the beginning. Um, compared to what they would be if you didn't use this mod. So, but if you hear that ting noise, I'm going to just do it again here. That is the mod that will set the prices automatically. Everything. So I don't have to care about prices. He's like, I don't have enough of my hands, bro. <laughs> it, it, literally just try to pick up more, I swear. So let me just show you here. If I buy bread with that tick box in the bottom left corner, that's bought. Now it's in, in uh, on the shelf instantly. So I'm going to do it with uh, cereal as well, and you'll see it. And boom, cereal was empty, but now it's filled up. So stock taking becomes a lot easier. It's a lot better, a lot faster this way. So... Yeah, if, uh, if the box... If I, if I buy something and... You know, there's no place to put it. They will rack it up here, which is great. It's easy to remove at later points. And that just honestly means that I don't have to care too much about them carrying stuff. Uh, because um, they would place it down anyway. All right. Okay. I literally just wanted to buy flour, so... And also I have another button here that I should remove. That mod it, like almost killed my game. Like I'm not even kidding. I was I was very close to quit the game. It cost me $20,000 and I threw away literally everything that we, we got. It was so bad. It was outside just a box fest. There were so many boxes you have no idea. Multiple products. Most of it was bread, toilet paper chicken like just one not even the new toilet paper it was just the old toilet paper um chicken and potatoes and bread new bread and old bread everywhere dude like it was just oof. i was really close to quitting the game then but i decided you know what let's just throw away all the boxes and uh and we'll just take it from there so, orange juice, apple juice, uh, apple juice, um, uh, the red cake, so we have the red cake here. Okay, we got some spray. So spray. How about bleach? Eh. Sure. Got some bleach. Dishwash, no, not needed. Uh, tuna. Tuna. Eggs is fine, we need sugar. I'm pretty sure we can buy butter. Yep. Because you can have like 10 inside one square. So butter. Uh, we need cereal also. And let's see, do we need chicken? Uh, sure. There's two slots open. Chicken, french fries, no. So we'll grab coffee and cheese. We need water also. Water, 12 eggs. We need 12 eggs. Oh, we're max. Uh, 12 eggs. What is that, salmon? Yeah. Salmon. So we need ketchup. To ketchup. 
spear. Uh, uh, old uh, beer, bold ale. You see, I think that's too heavy, so he can't carry that. He can't carry those two. He wanted to, he tried to. Uh, we can buy the beer again, right? Yes, let's do it. Beer. So, pepper. I think we need rice. Let me just double check, double check. Yeah, rice and the small bread. So, rice, small bread. Uh, sugar, powder. Bleach, spray, and soap. Bleach, spray, and soap. Do we really... Yeah, we got two slots open of bleach there. Yeah. New toilet paper. We need quite a bit of that also. So we'll get four in total. Okay, stock taking is done for today. We can open up shop. This guy is going to reach level 30 soon. But I think he's very far away still from uh, getting a, a different wage. Uh, so you can see uh, advanced, right? Advanced is maybe 30%, right? So advanced has to tick full in order for him to go to pro level. And pro is the final level. Uh, the question mark one, I don't think you're going to use that uh, yet because it's question mark. Um, but yeah, I like I can't imagine how much faster it'll become. <laughs> so we're going to get another employee. Uh, we're going to have one fast one, obviously, that's leading the way. And to be honest, I was just thinking, okay, well, to cash out better, we'll just get more employee, more uh, ca uh, self cashiers, right? There's two standing outside on boxes right now, uh, because I, I, I won't mind paying employees if they do their job efficiently, right? But you can only get four. That is my problem here. You can only get four employees. So I was thinking, like, is it really worth it to have four cashiers? If I can just pay double the price instead of a counter, pay double the price for it, get a South cashier. And then the job is done, dude. Like, it's honestly done. Right? Buy as many cashiers, uh, self, uh, self cashiers as you need. But with this mod, I, I just think it's... Like, I don't mind paying for, for speed. I haven't seen my boxers guy in a while. Like, are they glitched? There's one... They do get glitched every now and then. Uh, it's hard to fix them if they do get glitched, but... So, where's my other guy? So, there's both. Just gotta double check that they're working. It's about to reach level 21. If they throw away boxes, they also get experience, by the way. You reach level 30. 
Yeah, I actually can't wait until we get our second employee, dude. For, for the cashier. Because I think two will be really good. So I think what we can do is we could expand at the back there and then turn this table uh, so that it will it will be facing outwards, right? And then we'll put another employee the other way, so we'll have to buy a mirrored one. Now, like I said before, the level one guy is going to be so much slower than the self-checkout. But uh, it's okay. The queues will be, you know, organized. The speed guy will get more... It's just how it is in real life as well. If you see one move faster, you'll just queue up there more, right? But then we're going to work at least on two people at the same time. Just like the restockers, we have two. But one is going to be so much faster than the other for a very long time. I am so addicted to this mod, dude. Honestly. <laughs> oh, someone found something expensive again. Just look the other way, girl. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. I can actually minimize the game. Because uh, I actually opened up this tab. The auto pricing tab. Because I wanted to see like how I can edit the 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 things so effortlessly manage the store pricing with the auto price updater mod uh, no more daily manual adjustments here's what you do instant updates uh fresh your supermarket's pricing i need to sneeze goodness a strategy with two only two keys simply pre press ctrl r to complete the update start pricing the mod automatically adjusts the item prices based on optimal profit rates and uh, uh, ensuring that you stay competitive by slightly undercutting the market multiplier uh, for a comprehensive price change round uh, rounding rules keep your prices clean and customer friendly uh, round the nearest dollar or uh, specify decimal options include rounding up down or to the closest uh, in increment effortless management once configured the mod operates in the background letting you focus on the business aspect while your prices uh, prices attractive per product updates uh, want to keep the product price unchanged? Just add the ID uh, to the ignore list. Say goodbye to the tedious individual price updates and hello to the convenience of automated pricing uh, for your updater. Note, this mod will modify all prices based on the chosen settings. By default, products will be sold at 1.05x. Uh, the market price and can be rounded to your preferred decimal value prices update automatically at the start of a new day or instant uh, instantly with control r use the configure manager to configure while in game so it just it just shows how to download it doesn't show how to change it let's see here that's just the change log. Like, I, I would like to edit mine to only be, like... Posts, let's see here. Okay, here's posts. Configure file. In the games, config, auto-pricing, config. 
Drag and drop the folder from the root. Delete the old M uh, ML. Auto price updater settings. How do I see the screen though? It's, it's showing screenshots. Okay, there's still a lady here. Manual update. Key to change prices. And there's an auto pricing mod stall. He's posting a YouTube link. Okay, I'll actually watch this link then. But let's just start the next day. I think uh, everyone's through. Seven people found the products expensive, yeah. So I would like to change my mod to, to not quote-unquote overprice stuff because, you know, I would like to do... I would like to have competitive uh, prices, not overpriced uh, products. Okay, so cheese... Uh, we'll get, we'll get eggs, eggs, and, and, oh, it's milk. So, milk, peanut butter, milk, peanut butter, peanut butter. Uh, we'll also buy uh, the starting pasta then. Okay, so soda, six pack milk, and that is the side done, right? On to the right side, we want a dishwasher tablet. Did I buy it? No, I didn't. A shampoo. Do we need toilet paper? Uh, yes, we do for sure. Do we need bleach? No, we don't. We got enough bleach. So we need cheese mozzarella. You know, we can actually start the day while we stock take as well. Like it's not a big deal. Uh, French fry. I did add it right. No, we didn't. So French fry. Do we need potatoes? Yes, we do. That we do. So potatoes. Yeah, let's just start the day, bro. Like, we don't have to wait. So French fries, we need and we need the sugar, uh, green tea is fine still. Oh, that's maxed out. Salmon is fine. Then we get steak. Scallop grating. We need hot sauce. Hot sauce. Mayonnaise. 
and beer. And uh, we could buy this one also. Uh, chips. No, no. We just need... We just need mashed potatoes. Flour is still fine. Do we need that bleach? The white one. Yeah, we can buy it. Okay, so black cleaner. No. So then this is the last two products. Just double check that we need the green one. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, is stock taking done for the day? Uh, we can buy more cheese. Honey is too expensive for me. Well, I mean, I gotta employ my, uh, my insane, you know, cashier and stockers, you know what I'm saying? My employees deserve premium price, if that makes sense. Really, sir? You come here to buy two beers? Maybe he's gonna watch a sport game or something at a friend's house. And already eaten something, so he's not gonna take a steak there. Just coffee? He's on his way to work, isn't he? So yeah, the queue's a bit full. Yeah, the, yeah. It's gonna get worse though if I get the other employee. And we have to get him sooner, rather sooner than later. It's gonna be worse for a few days, but we'll get better over time. Unless this guy just becomes so much faster. And like I said, we can also buy experience, but it's really, really expensive. It is $2 per 1 XP. So to get this guy, for example, to the next level, that's about five, 600 experience. That will be $1,200. And he's not really that much faster per level. The big difference comes in when he ranks up, when you pay him a, a, a better daily wage. That, that's when it becomes really profitable. Or not profitable, but like really... Uh, ramps up the speed. So I think what I'll do now is I'll increase... Let's do it right now. We'll increase the shop's uh, size. Um, so management growth. $6,700. This will give us the back corner here. So right now we could just move all of this back. But I thought I had the snapping thing also. The snapping mod. Clearly I don't. Goodness, girl. You catch that tuna from far away. What 
Wait a minute. You can now get another product license in here for sure. But yeah, we have to prioritize turning this thing. So I think a lot of products will move now. We have to have an open gap there. I thought I bought the snapping mod where shelves will snap uh, to objects. Clearly I don't. A little bit dark here. There's another roof mod that's also pretty nice, actually. Uh, every second tile has a light. It might make your... Um, electricity bill skyrocket, but it's okay. So this shelf will also have to move. Yeah, it's unfortunate it sticks out more. I think it will be better to get a shelf in here. Yeah, the reason for that is fitting in the cash here. Is it this side or is it the other side? It's the other side, right? It needs to look this way. Dude, we just can't fit him in. So this one needs to move also. That should be okay. We can build this one against the wall. They will get one murdered. Oh, 
Oh man, that gotta that's that gotta be a joke, dude. That's gotta be a joke. Yeah, let's get one merit first. Uh, start the next day. Market furniture. So I, I'm pretty sure I bought the regular one, the checkout counter. Now this has to be the merit one. This has to be the merit checkout counter. Yeah, it is. Nice. Do you want to get these two close as possible? Right? It's a little weird, dude. Just get it a little bit away. Like that. And then we'll hire another employee. So management, hiring, we'll get another one. So this guy is going to be level 1, and you'll see how slow he is compared to the other guy. Um, for now, we're going to keep in the self-checkout, for now. And we will arrange these dudes later. Um, I think what I got to do right now is just uh, do stock taking. Yeah, we'll do stock taking and then we'll get some more shells and stuff later. Once we upgrade our store. So for now, I feel like that will be the fastest thing for us to do. Just uh, get the extra employee up and running. Also, we don't have to be closed while we are taking stock. I'll show you guys what the difference will be between the two. So, blue. So, we got our rice here. Rice. We need soda. We need... We got apple juice. We need... White cake, red cake. And candy. Cereal. Cereal and chocolate. Okay. Get some spray. Just wanted to ask the dog which the dog wants to go out, but clearly the dog doesn't want to. Um, get some shampoo. Oh, next out. Get some shampoo. Uh, mozzarella cheese. Looks like it's both of them. Uh, how about toilet paper? Yeah, we can get. So toilet paper. Let's get some tuna. No. We can get eggs and sugar. Eggs, sugar, butter. We can get a few of those. What are those? Uh, looks like chicken. Let's just have a look. Yeah, at least one buy is fine. One buy chicken, uh, french fries, pizza. How's our potato situation? We need a lot. 
So that's done. Cheese. Uh, we can get cheese, yeah. Coffee and water. Water is fine still. Uh, so we get eggs and pasta. So sugar. No. So it looks like both sushis. So sushi large, sushi small. Uh, veal is okay. We need to get um, crab stick. Hot sauce is fine. We need to get pizza. No, no. We need to get ice cream. So ice cream. We got mayonnaise. Or we can buy another one. Um, looks like we need pizza. Yep. And then the ale below it. We still are okay on the lagers, but we'll buy anyway. Because it's very small boxes. Um, we need red. So we'll get flour. Oh. We'll get flour, mush potatoes. And pepper. We'll buy pepper. Um, so we need, we need bread. We need a new toilet paper. Let's just see here. Uh, we need the cleaning stuff and... We don't really need the new... Not really, but we'll get it anyway. Um, and cleaner. So I think honestly that was stock taking. And we should be Gucci. So, soda. Potatoes. Yeah, we need some potatoes. I want to show you the difference in the two workers, man. Honestly. It's going to be nice. A little bit of an understanding. Uh, we need hummus. Hummus and the chips. And vodka. Vodka. Okay. Stock taking done. So look at the difference between the two. How insane. I'm gonna remove this, dude, I swear. We wanna pump as much experience into these two. I mean, it's only gonna get better from here, right? Yeah, they, we're, this is literally just throwing away experience, I feel like. So I leveled up, and you'll see it's like, dude, it's like 2% better. It's not that much, but it, it gets like that over time, right? So, and that guy is still earning XP, so it's only up from here, my buddy. Shame, dude. You gotta start somewhere in life, right?
The sky is a bit at the moment. Click, click, click. Compared to the other guy. And it's gonna be like that for a while, you know. The difference is quite huge. That's what I'm saying, like, imagine I use this guy from the beginning, like how far he would be right now, already. This guy's like running through the shop, dude. Okay, that's so inefficient. We maybe if we can, shouldn't put that one against the wall. We don't, bro. You can't walk through there. You walked all the way around. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, I would say. I mean, once they both get at least around the same speed, or at least once this one is as fast as that guy, then it's going to be faster than the self-checkout, for sure. One eternity later. And that's why I'm saying, like, once you start the bro the getting the ball to roll, these guys will become so fast. I don't really want this item even here, to be honest. Uh, I want all the deep freezes, or the freezers. If we can. Over here. Because then at least you can see into the store, you know? Just move it a bit back. Hopefully. That's enough. And you can at least see a bit into the store. Because I'm most probably going to just stand outside majority of the time. Like I used to. Uh, we can end the day here, obviously. Products not found. Five. What? Is that my bad? Or weren't they racked in time? They should be racked in time, dude. I want to also get the mod that snaps. I, I, I honestly think I have it, but clearly it's not working. And it could also be that while I was stock taking, there was no item of that. I'm not sure, I mean. Orange juice. So something is empty somewhere. That's why I wanted to automate the system also, but there's no mod for it for some reason. And it shouldn't be that difficult. Whatever you have labeled, if there's n if there's a zero, auto buy two or, or something like that. I don't know. 
that that to me shouldn't be too hard to program even for me honey so honey what is that is that eggs no it's below eggs so I'm pretty sure we need chick uh, we need a lot of chicken dude maybe that's no no that oh you know what could, could have happened there I could have moved the shelf where said item that they wanted was on and then they then they said hey there's no item of that I think that's my that's maybe the problem it could be okay yeah we'll We'll get some potatoes. That should be good enough, I think. There we go. Potatoes is restocked. Okay, now it's all the way up there. Which is next to the sushi that's on the left. So it's veal. Veal. Uh, ketchup. We'll catch up and then vodka. And then chips. This one. Chips. Uh, white bleach we can buy. Dude, is this. Oh my goodness, it's rice. I, I keep skipping rice for some reason, I think. Rice. Small bread. And some new spray. We have zero of that kegs. There we go. So it's weird that they can't move through here. Uh, clients will be able to, but they won't be. Which is a little unfortunate. I don't know if this is bad. Because the queue should be that way. You know what, for now, let's just move it out of here. It's weird that it's skew also. <laughs> I mean, it is as close as we can get it. But it's skew. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, so stock taking is done. I'm going to open shop. Um, I'm just going to look and see if I did have it downloaded, uh, the snap mod. So uh, let me just see here. On Steam. Steam. Uh, right click super market simulator. Properties. Browse files. Uh, then it is plugins, auto price, checkout, employee night. Yeah, we don't have it. We don't have the snapping one. I want to get that quickly. I don't know why I don't have it.
So furniture snap. It says downloaded. Maybe I just didn't install it. I don't know what will happen if I copy it in while the game is open. It's copied in right now. I think we need to reset the game for that to work. Where is more deep freezers, bro? Like, is that all the deep freezers we have? I want all of them to be over here so we can actually see a bit into the store. There's one. We're going to move this one also. little bit better so from the window we can actually see a bit in you know where otherwise you'll just see shelves everywhere farm them xp guys you can do it I think level 9 is the first upgrade purchase we get. So it's level 9, then I think it's level 25, by the way. I could be wrong. What is my other uh, stalker level? So this one is 30. Even though I open space here... He's still not walking through there. Honey is too expensive. Well, get a job, bitch. No, I, I, hey, I'm kidding. Uh, you need some milk? And this is the only way I'm going to employ cashiers, right? Is because they, they get better. And they will be faster. And I think if you get them fast enough, you most probably only need two of them to run the whole shop. And if you don't, maybe then I will just get a self cash out as well. It really depends on how many clients there is late game. I was about to say, I just woken out. So the other one's level 22. I think at level 25 we can get the upgrade for him. And that just means he walks a bit faster and he can carry more weight. Meaning more boxes. So in the background hidden, every product on the game has a hidden weight. Uh, that That is associated with the mod. So obviously he can carry now four chickens if he wanted to. If he's level 40 or something, I don't know. That just helps to make stuff faster, you know? But I'm pleading the guy now to actually make this mod also for the card game. Like, I don't care if the employees are slow in the beginning. They get... They become their money worth later. And it also endorses you to not upgrade your, um, or to not get rid of your previous employees, right? You will 
keep them because they're higher levels and even though you gotta pay them more wage later, that is fine. But they become more and more functionable. Goodness, dude. <laughs> So he's not that slow anymore. He's still slower than self checkout would be. And for this guy, I'm not going to buy any XP. It's way too expensive. Every level will cost almost a thousand dollars, right? I dumped quite a bit of ex uh, money into this guy, and also the the higher cashier uh, stock taker, because I, I I wanted to get them two to be solo, but it's impossible. I think you still need, like, two employees. You can clearly see who's more experienced here. <laughs> It's pretty cool, dude. He's just a rookie. It's his first day. Chill. There we go. Farm that XP, bro. Almost level 7. You can do it. Just look at her boobs. You'll go to level 10 instantly. Really? One XP missing? It's because you didn't look, dude. Obviously. We still have clients in the shop. You see, there's way more people queuing up on the faster guy. It makes sense, obviously, right? What level was it? It was around 15, right? That you become as fast as self-checkout. I think. Okay, we'll give it a few seconds just to check. Is there any anyone else in the shop? Five, four, three, two, one. None. And bum. Products found expensive. Okay, at least all products was found. Okay. Rather expensive than not finding it. So you can see my, my bills for employees right now is $500 a day. And it's only going to go up from here. But I'm, I'm honestly hoping these are the only four employees we need to finish the game with. But only time will tell, you know. Peanut butter. Where's my jelly? Peanut butter jelly time, dude. Wait, how old am I again? I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, dude. All right. So far left of honey. So honey, mozzarella. You buy whatever is below it. Which is tuna um, and sugar. So I think we need chicken, right? Yeah, we can buy one. We'll buy a chicken. So cheese. Do we need potatoes? 
Well, I skipped bleach completely and we need bleach. We don't need potatoes. We need a lot of bleach. We'll buy two. Now we'll buy it, we'll buy it, we'll buy six, dude. Because I'm a I'm a boss. Might be empty on the shelves also. Okay, we were around here. Uh 12 eggs. Looks fine. Uh that is tuna, I think. Tuna large. Perfect. Tuna large. Hot sauce is what we need here. And then red flour. Red flour. And then pink powder. And toilet paper. We can buy two more. How about the cleaner? We can buy the cleaner. Cleaner and the old toilet paper as well, it seems like. So old toilet paper. And in all honesty, I think this is stock taking for today. And now we need water. And milk, right? And milk. A bottle of water. Oh, you just brought back milk. So we'll, we'll remove one milk. Hummus. Hama 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 hamas. Uh, doom. Okay, done. Let's open shop, right? Yeah, I don't think we're ready yet for. Well, we could be ready. We could be ready for the next uh, uh product level, I think. Oh wait a minute! I wanted to close the game quickly for the snap thing. Okay, it's open, right? It were open. So you pick up his boxes now that he threw on the floor because we 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 logged. Oh no! What have I done? Oh no. What have we done? How? Dude, I took it from there. How doesn't it fit anymore? That to me is strange, dude. So we're going to start from one side and make everything look sassy. So it doesn't snap, but it's somewhat like, how do I say it? Sticky? Is that is that the right word I'm looking for? Um... It, it, it doesn't... How do I say it? it? It's not smooth, right? Oh, what's this guy doing? Uh, he needs to drop his boxes. So the best way to fi uh, that I found dropping boxes is if you say... Um, unallocated. 
but do it on both, and they will just drop their box. So you see boxes on the floor now. And they would reset. So they come back and reset, and then they try again, whatever they were stuck on. That's the best, uh, the best way I found them uh, uh, fixing themselves. Okay, so it's not smooth. It's like you can only move one out of five pixels now either way. So it's not like it's it's gonna, you know, fix the issue. I want I want it to be snapped, like uh, TCG, uh, Card Shop Simulator. That game has a snap feature that you can put one shelf down, and if you put another shelf next to it, it will automatically go next to it if you're close enough to the to the shelf. Uh, that is something I, I wanted. So it's not in this game, unfortunately. Uh, also, another thing is, if you forget to buy the uh, level up for the guy, it doesn't matter. The experience will keep on going. So it will say something along the lines of... 500 out of 300 and that's an easy way to know if you can actually buy a level up uh, for your for your uh, character for your employee so the experience gets saved for for whenever you are going to uh, level up I mean, I can still work on my shop, dude. Okay, he's not stuck. He's putting the stuff down. flower or the pink powder just want to get those boxes out of the way so how's the line here you can see it's a little skew there a little skew here but it might just be because it's a uh, fridge So how does this work then? Because like that is against, that is not against. So it's actually further away now. <laughs> without or uh, with the mod than it is with the mod. Hmm. Yeah, everything will be like a square away. It makes pretty big gaps. And I think if you do that 10 times, it's a whole shelf less. Hmm. So it's not the greatest. But I think it's the fastest. They're not even in line, dude. I mean, I mean, look at this. It will clearly show here. 
They're not even in line, those two. Yeah, we just have to go from one one area to the next. It's okay. What? Now I can put them in each other? What? I mean, if that works, then we're good. But you can see it doesn't work here. It has to be a little bit away from both. Let's see. So, I don't know if it's maybe just fridges that work this good. With one another? I'm not I'm honestly not sure. So I think that's one row done, right? Maybe this one's as well done. Okay, this thing gets needs to get away from here. Um yeah, we'll continue that continue doing that until we have enough space. So that's all checkouts done. Products I've found there was one. And might be because I'm moving stuff again. Uh we're gonna do that for a while, I think. Um, something is telling me my dudes is glitched again. Never mind. Here, here they come. This guy is glitched. It's kind of annoying. That it might actually be the mod that we're using now. For some reason, I have the feeling it's 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 the mod. Yeah, this needs to be a single shelf. We'll get one soon. Actually, there it is. Um... Get out of the way, bro. Ugh. I want to see if I touch the shelf. What will you do? Turn. Not overturn. Oi! Move, my bro. I 
I think it's a higher level one. There we go. So you should be redoing whatever you did. So yeah, this mod is not flawless, obviously. It has its flaws, right? Um, but it's okay. I honestly think it has something to do with the snapping mod that we're using. That is a glitch. Uh, I still want to get a shelf in there. Or we can. Okay, for, for now, I feel like I'm going to do this while we have clients. Uh, we're going to just redo this whole place. Relay out the whole place. Oh, no. move a little bit further away. That's perfect, actually. All right. Let's do stock taking. Wee. Boom. Boom. Explosions on screen. If I was editing videos. Boom. Okay, spaghetti. Rice. Um, six pack milk. Six pack milk. Both cakes and some candy. Uh, cereal's fine. We can we can buy uh chocolate and yogurt. How's bleach looking? We have enough bleach. So spray. Get some eye spray. Some hand soap. Some shampoo. How's the toilet paper looking? We need we need for sure. We'll buy two more. Mozzarella cheese. We need uh, and the red one also. We have honey. We have okay. So chicken. We need some chicken. We'll double buy chicken. French fries. We have house potatoes. We need some potatoes. Double buy potatoes. Uh, we need the blue one. So pasta, pasta, sugar, sugar, and then sushi large, sushi large, and then we need crab stick, uh, we ketchup. Uh, then we need mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Uh, 
Then we need mashed potatoes. Mashed potato. Uh, the small bread. Then we need some rice. Some rice. And the dishwasher stuff. And some spray. Did I just buy... Did I swear I just bought the, bought the show soap? It's impossible for him... No, I didn't buy soap. Because it showed one still. It's impossible for him to pick it up that fast, dude. We'll, we'll, we'll take some small bread again. Will I drop it outside? Yeah. Okay, we can open up the shop. While we reorganize everything, you know, at least we're making income while we're doing this. Um, you know, one shelf at a time. Excuse me, bro. Goodness. What the heck? I thought we were a team. Huh? Okay, we need to get this away. I don't know where we're gonna put it. But that's not where it should be. It's annoying, but we'll put it there for now. It's the best I can do. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. I honestly have to... have to buy a mouse at some point. So I think this single shelf can stand here. Feels a bit big. No, no, this is fine. Feels a bit big, that's what she said. <laughs> yes, that's why we're small channels still. Oh. This thing is in the way. Ah, still in the way. So clearly this needs to be moved back. Okay. Hmm. 
Why is it one, one pixel off? Like... What the heck? Mabri, what are you doing? Okay. Almost done reorganizing. Nope, that's not correct. How is that not possible? Yeah. Look at one pixel off again. And I can't get it closer. Is whatever, whatever. It's not meant to be together. Right? That's how the song goes in. Come on, turn. Oh my goodness, my mouse, dude. Nice. Checkouts is full, yeah. Wait until this guy levels up, bro. Then you'll be happy. A happy, chappy little lady. Hey, that guy reached level 32. I'm sorry, it's so expensive. I was about to say, just gonna walk out with the stuff. Like, screw this place, I'm just walking out now. I mean, um, thievery? Is that what we call it? Thievery or scumbags <laughs> that's coming in the future? Where people will just walk out without paying? So, security guards will become a thing now. Uh, slowly over time, with uh, the updates and patches, uh, CCTV stuff, we're gonna get an extra door for CCTV. That's why I want to just, uh, like, you know, get to the end game for this. Because, like, stuff like that is gonna be awesome to deal with, or to play with as well. And hopefully this mod will also have a security guard level. <laughs> that would be cool. In the beginning, I has to punch him three times or something. Get the money out of him. And after a while, he becomes a Chad, you know. One shotting people, boom. Yeah, I need to figure out how to change the prices, honestly. So you see this guy now? It says 332 experience out of 300, right? So that means I can buy an upgrade for him. And that experience that he overdid, like that's going to carry over. So that it's, his daily wage is now... His, his daily wage is $80. If I upgrade him, his daily wage will become $100. So he will now... Be able to level up, so he's level 10 now. And you can already see he's a little faster, but he's still not as fast as self-checkout. I think it was roughly about level 15. That's the same speed as self-checkout, so... We 
We still have clients buying, dude. What if you should move him one pixel left? Like there. Hopefully, our guy can walk behind you now. He can. Nice. That's... No. He still doesn't go through here. So let's put this against the wall. Maybe now he will? I don't know. Uh, let's end the day. Products not found? Yeah, it's because I'm still moving stuff around. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna still move products around. Once we buy the new upgrade, and I think we will right now do it. Uh, I honestly don't know where to put this. For now, it can be there. Okay, so uh, let's stock take. And then we will buy the new license. So, flower. Coffee, coffee, tea, oh, I just bought coffee again, uh, tea, uh, milk, eggs, red flour, Red flower, orange juice, apple juice, six pack milk, uh, green soda, okay, that, that shelf is done, how's our bleach looking? We can buy two bleach. Bleach, spray is fine. Do swatch the tablet. Hand soap. Shampoo. Toilet paper. Toilet paper is fine. So then it's tuna. Tuna, cereal, how's chicken looking? Chicken licking. And uh, we can buy two boxes. How's potatoes? We can buy two. So, french fries, potatoes. Oof, dude. Cheese. Coffee. Okay, then 12 eggs. Pasta. Brown sugar. We could buy tea. Seven. Salmon. Uh, scallop. 
Okay, we don't need steak, but we do need sushi. Sushi small is fine. So that's just all the way down to chips. But I also want to check... Uh, which one is it? This ale. Yeah, we need. We need those. That's 10. Okay, so we're down to this chips and flour. So chips and flour. Rice is still fine. We need the new bread. Sandwich bread. What's the difference between sandwich bread and normal bread? The sandwich bread, the thicker slices. I think that's what it is, right? Pink powder. Uh, we're still fine. We can actually buy two. Two bleach. And two soap. Or cleaner, that's what it's called. We can buy two soap as well. And two... So two soap and then two toilet paper. So stock taking is done. Okay. Most probably want to buy more sugar. That's close to butter. So the sugar here. It's this one. And peanut butter. Peanut butter and cheese. Peanut butter, cheese, uh, the black soda, which is just cola. Cola. And the very, very first. Cereal. Okay, looks like stock taking is done. So now we'll buy the new license. So licenses, buy the new product. It's going to be a lot of products. And now we'll scroll down. Uh, first things first, uh, we want to go to management, hiring. We want to uncheck the use shelf unlabeled stuff. Uh, the reason being is because they're going to take my new items and then put it wherever they want on the shelf. And that's not cool. I will manage that first so that we have an organization or, you know, a system. So the last thing we had is toilet paper. So we need to buy fridge, two items that's in the fridge, right? So the blue and the ground beef. So I think we need another fridge because we have one fridge that's open, like one slot open right here. So I think ground beef is the second item, not the first one, but we'll double check now. So yeah, ground beef is the second one. So we need to buy another fridge, so furniture. A uh, double fridge. We'll buy a black one. Um, I mean, we organized most of this already. So, so double fridge. So this will be in this one. You can see the price is automatically set already. Which is great. It is great. So there we go. So there's that one done. Fridge. So now we need more fridge. Which is ham pastry. And ham. We'll just buy one at a time. Make things a little easier. So. So that's ham. It should be all the way at the top there. So we need to buy another fridge. 
purchase. And that will be just regular ham. No, I didn't scroll, man. Is it because he's standing there? Yeah, it is. This looks like ham. So that's the second item, right? Yeah, just regular ham. Then we have lasagna, which is also in a fridge. Bitch, lasagna. Has to be there. Yeah, it is. And two more fridges. So we need one more fridge purchase. One more fridge. Uh, we didn't buy any items, so... So one more fridge, and then... The pro, and then the chicken leg. So we have chicken leg. This looks different. And the pro. Okay, so double check that those two, yeah, everything looks fine. Everything is awesome. So final stock taking, we need more. Oof, dude, there's so many products already. And we're not even halfway, I think. Maybe we're halfway now. Maybe we're halfway. Doom, 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 doom. Whatever's underneath ketchup. And we'll just double buy all the new products. <gasps> We're out of money, Mabri. Let's open a shop. That that's crazy that we're out of money, because we 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 bought this around thirteen k ish. I don't I can't remember honestly. But I mean these guys they are expensive as well. These faster workers. But it's still cheaper to have two of them than to have four unleveled guys, if that makes sense. It's still cheaper to have two cashiers than to have four. So, it's whatever. Uh, what's this, bro? You're claiming that there's nothing to do, but we see items on the ground here. So they're going to stand until someone buys something, obviously. I mean, it's okay to have a path here. Come on, people, buy. I need to restock, man. Goodness.
They're still standing? What? I need a thousand six. I need two hundred dollars more. How are they still standing, bro? Are they glitched? It would have been cool if you have a employee that is leveled. The the unleveled one will level faster because you would be getting tips from the leveled one. It would be cool also. But yeah, it's just better to have them on the separate XP. Orange juice. It's full? Are you sure? Maybe they, they are walking with one, I don't know. We're going to keep this for later. No one will steal it, right? <laughs> the checkouts is full. Hey, he reached level 11. He's still slower. Then self checkout. He's getting faster. It looks like it's soft checkout speed.
I don't th I don't know if this is gonna be enough though. These two alone. Like I'm trying to imagine that they, especially the one that's level thirty two, right? Like he can go up a whole tier still. Like he's on advanced right now, but he's like pro is the next one. Like I don't know how much faster that would be. I can only imagine like a ten to twenty percent increase from from this point. Really, one item, girl? You stood in queue for an hour for one item. You too? Level 31, he moves so fast. Meow. Still have clients in the store, dude. He leveled up again, level 12. What? We still have another client? What? I think you need to reach an X level or, or X amount of clients per day. So once they all, like once these guys are out, the new ones will spawn and they would still be coming in. That that's pretty weird that that's the case. Okay, we can end the day here. Products found expensive. Well, my bad. My bad. <laughs> I honestly need to learn how to make it cheaper. Okay, let's see your let's see your olive oil. Olive oil. Uh, spaghetti, rice, rice, we want, uh, really, no six-pack milk today, goodness, get some cakes, we can get candy also, oh. get some candy, get some cereal, no, we're okay, and get some chocolates. Mmm. Some chocolates. Some some eye spray. Some mints. You know, some dishwasher mints. Some oh dude. Oh man, how much worse can it get? Oh Lee, he's going for more. He's like, I'm 31, bitch. Is what's these boxes doing, dude? These are the new products. There's more here. Hmm. Little unfortunate. Now we can buy milk, apparently. Right. Normally I buy milk every day. Ugh. Okay, where were we?
Red cake. So red cake. Uh, do we need potatoes? Yeah, we can buy potatoes. Do we need toilet paper first? Theist. Yeah, we do need quite a bit. So toilet paper. Whether we bought the red cheese already. So we need potatoes. So potato, then we need blue. So that's pasta. Pasta. Uh, then we need... Uh, that's the small sushi. Small sushi. The one right below it. So hot sauce. And one next to it. Ice cream. So ice cream. That's hummus. Uh, red flower. Red flower. Then we need black spray. Some juicy eye spray. And toilet paper. So toilet paper. And then, so it's like this then, middle, middle, left, so middle, middle, left. I honestly don't think we need that much because we have products here. Oh, they, they used it already, I think. Okay. Scroll up to chocolates. We need cereal. We need blue flower. Cereal blue flower. And uh, that looks like it. And stock has been taken. Two products laying here. But guys, we're going to actually end this episode over here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.